Mohammed yes. died a long time ago. Okay, can I reply now? No, no, wait, I'm not finishing. He died a long time ago, okay? Whatever he does, the ugly picture that Ihatun has in her hand, and repeatedly every Sunday, she will say to the Muslim, she has not no respect at all. The only time that Muslims praise Christians in the park is when those Christians say something that weakens the church's ability to stand up against Islam. What you do is you enable the persecutors of the church to get around the injustices that are being implemented against Christians. Sadly, Mo wants to be in front of the camera. He can't have a decent conversation. Mo demonstrates the example of a pathetic prophet called Muhammad. No. So the sister asks, am I a Roman Catholic? The answer is no, I'm not a Roman Catholic, I'm a Christian, but I see Roman Catholics as Christians. So you have something against it though? Yeah. Why is she asking that? Uh, have you got I'm not going to get into a denominational uh, debate. That's why I agree with you, I shouldn't stand that way. Bit shy, uh, Bob, on the I, denomination. I no, it's video. tactical, bro. In your video, I watch it from home, which is, I enjoy it always. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm really amazing, John. But the only thing is, someone asked you that, um, what's the true Christianity? John. And you said... Um, In good spirits. Corona, Corona, Corona. Yeah. And you John. said, um, no, the I'm true Christianity is the, what, the Catholic Church, the Holy Catholic Church. You said yeah, I, 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 I believe in... Yeah, I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, okay. which is the historical church. But then, right. I, I, I wouldn't call it that way because that means you're saying that like all the Pentecostal or the... No, I, I see them as part of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. But I, I'm not. If I say to you now, I'm being honest. If yeah. I say to you, I grew up in Orthodox Church, yeah. which is very similar to Catholic. Yeah. There's not differences. So I, think, I think people misunderstand what we mean when we say one holy Catholic and apostolic. Well, the Christ calls us, doesn't he? He says, "Be Agios as your Father in heaven is Agios." What's the Agios mean? Yeah, I mean if we do the exact what Jesus tells us to do. We, we use this word. So he calls us to be holy, does he not? The only thing he calls us to be holy is when we love our enemy. Does he when make us holy? That, like, they don't give us. When we love us, don't love us. Yeah. Said, does he make us holy? Father, does Christ make us holy? So he said that. If you love your enemy, yeah. uh, if you if you uh, if you give someone that who hungry, uh, like say for example, if you're my enemy, and then he he's not my enemy. So if like uh, I wanna give both of you hungry, I will give it to him in a human nature. But Jesus said no. He said if you love those that who love you, if you give those that who give you, you have not no reward in heaven. But if you give those that hate you or love those that hate you, then he become like your father in heaven. So yes, he did say that. But for us to be holy, for me, I believe that when we follow Christ, Christ teaches. Not necessarily which church you would never know the nation. I wouldn't believe that because I came from Orthodox. And honestly, I'm telling you the truth today. There are so many hypocrisy inside Orthodox Church, but not all of them. Okay, sister, sister, can I can I just say if you if you don't want to accept the, these terms as holy Catholic and apostolic church, I'm not going to force you. It's not worth fighting about. If you don't if you don't want to accept no wait one second if you don't want to accept those appellations, fine. For me, it's not a fighting point. It's not even a debating point. I I one second one second. I believe I believe that it is perfectly fair to describe the church as one because there is only one bride of Christ. Holy, because Christ has made his bride holy. Absolutely. Thank you. Apostolic, because the church is built on the apostles. Yeah. And the church, because Christ calls the ecclesia. So these appellations are things that, these, these, are the, these appellations I think are legitimate. But for me, it's not, it's not a fighting point. If you, if you think to yourself, one second, if you, if you think to yourself, I don't want to accept Catholic, then fine. Then fine. It, for me, it's not worth fighting about. Exactly what I Even someone else that I never met, whoever they are, or Hindu or Muslim, whatever, for me, they are created by God, the human being like me, I still love them, show them love, encourage them, or share the good news with them. So that's, that's fine. If you feel that way, Catholic is the Holy Catholic, that's No, can I be clear about what I mean by Catholic? Because a lot of people misunderstand this. Catholic is not equivalent to Roman Catholic or Eastern Orthodox. Catholic, when it is used in this sense, simply means universal. So there is one universal church. I would say God is universal. So you're in it. The, the universal church is across the entire globe. God is 
You're in it. So, number yeah. one, that is only holy, number two. And Jesus said, do not call Father anyone on earth you have holy. You have only one Father. But we've been calling Orthodox and Catholic. We call them Father. We bow down to them. We kiss their knee, their hand. We kiss Pops oh, when we come. People person. bow down to him. So how can you say that this is the right way to follow Jesus? Again, Jesus, uh, sister, I'm not, I'm not going to get into a denominational argument. If you don't accept no, no. these things, it's then go and... Uh, I'm not... I, I, I am not going to... I don't... I'm just... But you agree with me? No, I don't, I don't agree. I'm not... No, no, I'm not going to get into this discussion. No. You're very good. You're very good. Sister, sister, so sister. The reason, the reason why I'm not going to have this conversation is because, because I don't want to fuel... I don't want to fuel... I don't want to fuel interdenominational rivalry. As Christians, one second, one second. You're, you're asking me why I'm not going to have this debate with you. I'm going to explain my reasons why I'm not having this debate with you. I'm, exactly, so you're asking me, so I'm going to explain my reasons why I'm not going to have this debate with you. So here's my reasons. The Bible is very clear that we are instructed to work for the peace and the unity of the church. And every time Christians debate these denominational questions, what ends up happening is it divides Christians amongst denominational lines. Now I will have I will have this conversation with you off camera. And not right now, no. But if you want to have it, I'll have it with you off camera. So, because I don't because I don't want to deny you the opportunity to have satisfaction. But I'm not going to do it on camera because I feel it's unhelpful to throw fuel onto the sectarian divides of the church. Yeah, that's fine. So so we can speak, but I'm not going to talk about this debate. Because I'm not interested in having this debate, sister. It's, it's harmful. Is it separate to the denominational question? So what I'm saying now, I heard you were saying earlier to the gentleman about um, uh, former, what's it called, Muslim former, what, what he called? He was Islamophobia. Yeah, so when you talk about Islam, when you talk about they rape, they kill, whatever it is, when you say those words, so, um, is it fair though to just speak one religion and to talk like that, but then this happening everywhere, as you know yourself, it happened to so many churches, even today, it happened in Christian church, in Pentecostal church, it happened to people rape, people, you know, literally do things that they're not supposed to do, how Jesus taught us to be. You don't see that role model today in Christianity. I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying you're, you're not one of them. You're not one of them. I don't know you. I can't judge you. But I see so many things going on today. That if we are really truly Christian, we follow Jesus. Why can we follow the teaching of Jesus? What are coming out of that and then selling? For me, I wouldn't. Number one, what I will believe is that if I see you doing something wrong, I'll say to you, well, that's right, that's not right, that you should repent, Amen. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. But I wouldn't say the whole Catholic did this, the whole Muslim did this, the whole this, that, that is um, my... Sister, that's very, very decent, I love so that. So, for and, me, and is that, I'm just, as a brother, I'm sharing this well. with you, uh, that for me, I see so many rapes today. I watch Catholic a lot, a lot of what happened young, now they're big men, but they're crying, they was abused in church by priests, they give them money to shut their mouth, there's so many so many nuns abuse, so many gay and lesbian inside the church that I heard and I watched and I experienced, even in Orthodox church, I can I can witness that when I was in back home, me myself, I was tempted to be by those priests as well, so my point is that if we're going to speak the truth, let's speak the truth about every domination, every religion, or leave alone Islam. Why is so so, so, so let, 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 me, let me reply to that because it's a question that I get asked a lot. So firstly, I, I do try as best as I can and sometimes I probably do better some weeks than in other weeks to make a distinction th three kinds of distinctions one what the ideology teaches from what the follower does and then two the fact that there are different kinds of followers of Islam okay so those are the kinds of distinctions that I make now some weeks I will do that clumsily and some weeks I'll do that very articulately so as a corrective to any previous videos let me be very clear there's a distinction between what Islam teaches as an ideology what Muslims do as followers, and then there are distinctions between Muslims as followers, between those that follow what Islam teaches very clearly, and those that follow it maybe culturally, or those that don't follow it at all. Okay? Now, as to why I focus in on Islam here in the corner, firstly, it's a mischaracterization to say that I focus in on Islam. I'll debate anyone about anything except another Christian about sectarian questions within Christianity as we've just witnessed. But the, the, the thing is, firstly, Muslims usually make up the majority of people here at Speaker's Corner. Secondly, 
many of the Muslim speakers are often critical about Christianity. And so it's perfectly fair if Muslims are coming to the corner and criticizing Christianity, we can criticize Islam. But thirdly, it's also a question of, do we have the right to stand up against a, a tyrannical ideology that would make Christians second-class citizens? If we stand up against Nazism or racism in this corner week after week after week after week, no one would accuse us of having some kind of prejudice or phobia. Islam teaches that you and me as Christians in a caliphate, our lives become less valuable than Muslim lives. So, so the result is that why can't I stand up against an ideology that teaches that? If I can stand up against communism. No, I, I believe, I believe that, that the Christian community is, is worth my love. And those things that are threatening to that Christian community are things that I should stand against. It's like a family. Then, because you think the out family is going to be against My point is that, brother, my point is that, what I'm saying is that, we know that these things happen everywhere. Well, show me, show me, show me, show me, the, show me the, the Christian network of terrorists that are blowing up mosques. Kind of, uh, no, hold on, you can make us, your sister, what I'm saying is you're making a false comparison. No, 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 no. It's a false comparison, it's a trope. No, one second, sister. You're, you're making a false comparison. You are. You're making a false comparison. Let me, let me, let me, let me no, no, you're making a false comparison that, that actually doesn't stand up in fact. And it's a trope that is common in our culture, which is that every religion does the same things. Well, prove to me, show to me, where is the network of Christian terrorists blowing up mosques? I'm not saying that I disagree. I'm not saying that nothing happened. One second. One second. But what I'm saying to you is that, my brother, what I'm saying to you is that, that happened. We all know. We can't. It is not going to be hiding. It's in the news. We know that. And we know some scripture in the Quran mention about these things. But my point is, whatever happened, somebody else did. Why should I say to this brother, he's a Muslim. Why should I say to you, you're murder, uh, you're Muslim. I didn't. I... Muslim. Why should he deserve it? Is it, is it his fault? Right. So let me answer that my question. Point. Let me ask. Yeah, let me ask you that question. Let me answer that question. So I, I will, I go up to Muslims and I challenge them in the park and I say to them, um, you know, do you agree, for instance, with, Mah with, 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 with Muhammad having sex with a child? Okay. And many Muslims, to their credit, will say that I don't want to be like that. That's, that's not who I am. And you've, there's, there's plenty of examples of me on camera saying to Muslims that they're better than their prophet. So hold on one second, sister. So what, I, what I'm going around is, what I'm challenging is those militants here in the corner who advocate that Muhammad is the best example and that we should follow it's his them. example. It's their religion. So, so, so what, 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 how do you feel so, if someone comes to you and says to you, yeah. Jesus was sleeping with a little girl, oh. Jesus did this, Jesus did that. So would I would ask them to prove it. First thing I would do is I would ask them... Proof. Wait, one second, one second. First thing I would do is I would ask them to prove it in Scripture. Yeah. And then, if they actually show me where Jesus sleeps with a little girl, then I might have a problem. But no one is able to point to Jesus and give me a problem with Jesus. Okay. An 11 year old Mary married a but one second, let me, let me turn this back on you because I want to challenge you. Because you've been challenging me, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. Isn't there, one second, go on sister. What I'm saying is that whatever happened 15 years ago, why should this Muslim today they have to get this price over and over, telling them your prophet raped, your prophet sleep with six years? Today in London, you know people rape two years old, don't you? you know, so let, let, let me let, let me address let me address so that point. So why can we speak the So let me address that point. Okay, let me address. If the priest in a Catholic is, wait, hate, sister. no no wait wait, hate. I don't. Wait, and and I don't you're feeding you're why. feeding this counter narrative. No, 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 people like you feed this counter narrative. No, no, you allow no, people. No, like him no, to characterize me as Islamophobes. Yeah, this is this is the point. What you do, sister? What you do? Why, when, when, no, you know what you're doing is you're helping people like him not to have their religion challenged. But that's not challenge, though. That's not challenge. Right. Having Muhammad picture in your hand, telling them he did 15 years ago. Whatever Muhammad did, I don't know. Maybe true. I don't know. No, that's okay? lie. Can false. I just you know why? At that day, at that age, do me a favor. Let me speak to my brother. Age was different at that day. Age was different. He cannot tell me. Say that, can you just let me speak, please? I'm right, speaking the truth. What I'm saying, my point is that, Bob. I heard your point. You're so, why, why should Muslims today have to answer yes, for? So let me reply. So let me reply, sister. Let me reply. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Firstly, firstly, um, 
when you take the example of Muhammad and you challenge Muslims, some Muslims will distance themselves from the example of Muhammad. And I'll applaud them for doing it. Some Muslims will defend the example of Muhammad. And why shouldn't those Muslims who defend the example of Muhammad be challenged when Muhammad did abhorrent things, wrong things, like permitting people to rape? One second, one second. This is, this is a, you, you, there's a confusion in your thinking, sister, if you forgive me for saying. Now, allow me to explain. Let me explain. The confu there's a confusion in your thinking. Because you're thinking that, that criticizing an ideology and criticize when bearing in mind Muslims are criticizing Christianity all the time. Sister, you keep insisting that I listen, but when I'm trying to reply, you keep interrupting. You've got to do the listening as well. Right? Because when we go, Muslims are going around and criticizing Christianity all the time. So why can't we criticize Islam? That's my first question to you. Secondly, when Islam teaches things that are inherently unjust, unjust. As Christians, we are commanded in Scripture to stand against injustice. So when, when Islam teaches that we Christians should be made into dhimmis, we should stand against injustice. We should stand against that ideology. And anyone who expounds the application of that ideology. And here in the corner, there are lots of Muslims that do, not all, but many do. Now, what I would say to you, sister, is that when I stand up for persecuted Christians, like in Ethiopia, in northern Ethiopia where Christians are being persecuted. When I stand up for that, when I stand up for that and then you jump in and you attack me, what you do is you enable the persecutors of the church to get around the injustices that are being implemented against Christians. When I point out misdemeanors of behavior by Muslims, you will notice that I connect them to Muhammad. Because what I'm seeing is, are those misdemeanors, those misbehaviors connected to Muhammad's example or not? And very often we've had Muslims defend, defend the example of Muhammad. Now, are you saying that we can't criticize? So my question is to you, can we not criticize Muhammad? Can we not criticize Islam? And should we be silent about the persecution of Christians? Yeah, of course. Number one, I wouldn't criticize these guys here today, the Muslim brothers and sisters, because whatever Muhammad did in the past, there is nothing to do with them. Some of them, they didn't even maybe read the Quran. They might not even understand. What you're saying, you're not wrong, okay? But what I'm saying is that today, as they stand here right next to us, do we show them love and preach the good news about Jesus? And it's up to them to take it, to leave it, or every Sunday, over and over, whatever Muhammad did, whatever people did, a long time ago is it fair for these brothers every sunday to get criticism even if they go far do you know muslims do that to christians in the park i did i never see that uh, have you ever watched any of the islamic channels you've never heard shams say, say that i don't think the sister i don't i don't think she genuinely i genuinely i don't think she's aware or how about hashim debating christians on the trinity have you never seen that oh so you have seen that and hasn't he done that week after week after week yes, but that's so if he's doing it why can't we challenge them now we're talking I can't hear you, sister. I'm really sorry. Go on. You know the Prophet Muhammad I know what you're saying. Are you a Sunni or a Shia now? I'm just Muslim, but can I say something to God I knew? The Prophet Muhammad his daughter is called
called Fatima in Portugal. If you've been to Portugal, there's a holy city, a Christian city called Fatima City. If you, Bob knows about it, one day you will go, I'll take you there. Fatima City is named after the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad. Do you know she was killed in Islam? Do you know she, her, her, she was, uh, um, her rib was broken? Do you know the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad? No one talks about it in this part. The daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, she had her, the land that was given from Allah to the Prophet to her was stolen from her. And the Prophet said, whoever hurts Fatima has hurt me. And whoever hurts me has hurt Allah. Do you know Fatima is Zahra? Right. The biggest no. calamity. Can we go back to our conversation no, now? Because, because, no, because, no, no, we were because, having a conversation. We were having a different Ma, conversation just entirely. Just remember, Fatima is Zahra is the most oppressed lady in Islam. And let us also remember this, that Fatima City in Portugal is only called Fatima City in Portugal because of an Islamic occupation no. that resulted in the persecution no, no, of Christians no, no, no. in bad. Portugal. No, no, it was because right, No, because a woman saw that. Go on, go on, sister. So Guys, Go on, sister. guys, please, we are Go blocking on. up the cycle lane. Can we please move to the other side? Okay, yeah. you just take all your What Bob said is wrong. It's not because of the uh, Islamic occupation. It's called Fatima City because a woman, a, a priest woman, saw Fatima and Mary come down to her. In, in real life and told her stop, stop. And, and said and, and wrote uh, read some scriptures to her and told her and that's why no, the link between no, you're Islam. being, you're no, being I'm just rude saying, now. but you said the wrong thing okay. you said so, the wrong thing sister, come go and research Fatima City go and research Fatima go and research the occupation of Portugal no but research Fatima City and go and research the dimitude of Christians in Portugal Go and research the desecration of churches in Portugal. No, no, Go and research the slave trade that's of Christians true. from Portugal. Go and research 700 that's, years okay, of war the in the Iberian Peninsula. Go and research the public, the public, legal, apartheid system imposed upon Christians in Portugal. So why does Allah say the most loved people now, to Christians? No, we're trying to have a conversation. No, no, have a but don't say lies. No, we're not lying. Don't say lies. We're not lying. Fatima City was not because sister, of the occupation. Sister, it was because of what I'm saying to you. So far, I'm saying Mary to you. In real life, I'm all right, gonna carry on. Sister, no, just no, do research, but no. Don't deceive the Christians. We're not. This is a good lady here. Go, go and Everyone check it. Listen to this lady. What's your name? Leo. 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 W. L-E-U-L. L-E-U-L. Leo. Everyone go and listen to this Christian lady because she is like the Christian king in Abyssinia, the Ethiopian king, who said to the Muslims, come, I will protect you. She is the people of the does book. It, does it not no, disturb he is you, not sister? People of does the it book. not disturb he you? He is not people that, of the That book. all the Muslims who have been attacking the Christian faith are no all siding with you. That they attack the Christian faith. ISIS. 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 No, no, no. I'm talking about in the park. I'm talking about in the park. No one's I'm talking, talking about in the park. I'm talking about in the park. All of these people are on your side, sister. It doesn't that disturb you? Don't listen to Bob about Christianity. Listen to this woman. Yeah. The only, the only kind. Fuck ISIS. Yeah. Fuck ISIS. Mo, please. Can you, can you move him away? Because we don't even want, we don't even want him in the here. Can we please? Sister, sister. The, the kind of, the what, the, the kind of. Fuck every time. Hey, fuck hey, ISIS, we step on you. There you go. Shit. No, fuck you destroy this kind Islam, of, and you give this guy, this guy, you give this guy the reason to hate Islam because of ISIS and because of fucking Mo. lies written Mo. in the books Mo. in Bukhari. Yeah. This lady, Mo. this is the lady you should be listening to. This is the real Christian. You're just the Christian you're, 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 yeah, Go yeah. and watch the message. Go no. and watch the message. No. Yeah, when no. the Abyssinian king no. told the Muslims, "Your faith or my faith is one. No. I will protect you." Yeah, no. this is a true. This is the no. Christian of Jesus. Here, there this you go. The real, not you. You're the only, the only acceptable Christian. Christian. The only acceptable Christian is a weak. Christian. No, she's not weak. She's That's the only angel. acceptable Just Christian. She's a woman, you That's the her. only acceptable this is Christian. She's got the Bible. She's it's like the Bible deja vu, heart. honestly. The, Bible by heart. No. the only time the Bible by heart. that Muslims she's praise the Christians in the park no. is, the is the when those Christians no. say something no. that weakens the church's ability to stand up against Islam and to stand up against Islamization. We are the Christians. When we Christians call for unity. This and to stand up against know. Islam and Islamizations, it rolls, it rolls those Muslims that want to see Islamization. And sisters and brothers who are guided by a weak churchianity, a doormat Christianity, 
What do you think Those Christians are useful to the Islamists because they have no answer to Islamic Jihad. They have no answer to the murder of Christians, to the persecution of Christians, to the, to the, to the discrimination against Christians, to the criticisms against the Christian faith. So, so, sister, but let's come back to, to no, repent. your sister, this is the you see, the fuck ISIS, you see, yeah. fuck sister, fuck Saudi government, bro. fuck ISIS, yeah. so, sister, my point to you is, my point to you is, my point to you is, you shouldn't come to this part, you see, you don't you're, 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 your kind of spirituality has no strength in it against these kinds of people. I'm not liking you. I don't, I don't do this. Yeah, but like, you should have blamed the Prophet Muhammad. I don't do that. Don't blame them. them. Don't blame the Prophet Muhammad. Why do I speak them one to one? Yeah. But I don't do it like you. But what? 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 But the thing is, what you're trying to say, sister. What you're trying to say, you 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 are criticizing me for criticizing Islam. No, I'm criticizing you. I am saying you. I believe in my Stephen as a believer, as you are my brother believer. Yes, sister. For me, is that what I'm saying is that I break my heart. Really break my heart when we when we say these things in front of them. I feel like we're pushing them away from the truth. Well, I think I think actually I think actually. The, the, in, in, the thing is, the thing is, there is a narrative, sister, that is being pumped out. The, the, one second, sister. There is a narrative that are being pumped out by by Muslims here at the park on their on their channels that that is based upon uh, a criticism of the Christian faith that it's irrational, that it's weak, that that it's full of contradictions. That that narrative has to be challenged. It has to be challenged. And and the thing is, we've got we've got to challenge it publicly. We've got to challenge it publicly. Right. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. Or are you just going to invite them back? Just, just. Yeah, so my point to you is, my point to you is, just, 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 just being shrinking from public conflict. Shall I, shall I explain my point? I, I, I heard your point. You heard me, my point. I heard your point. So now, what I'm saying is that today, whatever happened in the past, my point, okay, wherever, whoever does anything else, whether they're terrorists, whether whatever, you know, everywhere in the whole world, there's people killing, there's people raping, there's people abusing. This is something that's a human being choose to do, rather than I can't take the secret. So I was thinking, just I'm also Christian. I just wanted to say last thing before I go here. Yeah. I do respect. This is what you're doing like here. Is very good, fantastic. Yeah. 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 Ignore this lady. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't know anything about Christianity. Ah, okay, okay. No, I think I, I think she knows something about Christianity, but I think I think the real she's challenge. A, she's a teacher what, what, of Christianity. What, 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 what I think. This is, this is why I always have to shout. Muslims always complain that I shout. But I shout because of this kind of behavior. All the time. You've been rude to this sister. She is talking and you are interrupting her. We were having a conversation. Uh, we were having a conversation. This kind of, uh, sister, with respect, but you represent a kind of churchianity that is just just getting crushed. You are representing a kind of if, a weak Christianity that cannot stand up to that cannot stand up to ISIS, that can't stand up to jihadis. You, you, am I right in thinking? Am I right in thinking last week you sided with Ali Dawa against Hatun Tash? Is that correct? Right. So Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa is someone that will not condemn terrorist networks yes, like Hamas, nah, 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 nah. No, he, he won't condemn them, nah, nah. he calls them the freedom of... fighters. Ali Dawa condemns terrorism. He and doesn't he condemn ISIS. Hamas. Yes, yes he, does. he does. So he is someone, no, Ali he is someone who justifies no. the murdering of apostates yeah. from Islam no, to Christianity. No, 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 one second. This is the man that you Ali defended. Dawa is a good man. Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, the man that you defended, justifies the murdering of apostates. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that that it is okay to murder Christians who leave Islam. Do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Of course, some terrorists, they do things they No, 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 you're not even listening to my question. This is my question. Ali Dawa. 
states that he agrees with the killing of apostates from Islam. He's on camera saying it, Mo. He's on camera. Right. Yeah, well, you'll see it on this video. He's going to put a flashback. He is on camera justifying the murdering of Christians who have left Islam. Do you agree with that? No. I wouldn't agree with any evil. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay. So you okay. condemn Islamic any teaching? Evil. I'm not saying Islamic. So do you? No, it is Islam. That is Islam. That is Islam. That is Islam. Do you agree? Do you agree that we should condemn that? Do you agree that we should condemn that? I condemn any evil. So should I condemn that? Should I condemn? Right. So so if 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 Ali Dawa supports that. Should I challenge both the belief and the person perpetrating the belief? I'm asking you the question. Sister, answer the question. If, if I, do you, firstly, do you agree that I should condemn such a teaching? No. What I'm saying to you. No, that's not my question. Answer my question. Answer your question. If you see those boys, those men that do that, if you see them face to face, like Ali Dawa, like Ali Dawa, who you supported against Hatun Tash. Number one, I didn't support Ali Dawa. Yes, you did. He was not there. He was there. He was there. We we saw you on camera. Yes, he came. You were there. I didn't see him. Supporting Ali Dawa, who calls for the killing of Christians. Christians, who calls for the killing of Christians. All the Christians saw you do it. You supported a man who called for the... There you go, she just said so. Why I support it. You supported a man who calls for the killing of Christians who leave Islam. That's who you support. Yeah, so will you condemn him? If I see him. Well, you, well, I'll tell him no, in his face. Will you con so when you see when you see Nick when you see this video this conversation we're going to do a flashback where Ali Dawa supports the apostasy laws. Are you going to come back next Sunday and, and, and criticize Absolutely. Ali Dawa? Right. So then you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. No, 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 no. no. Then you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. Hear me. Let me speak. Okay? Go on, sister. Because you were speaking, shouting oh, next no. to me, I could know. Let me tell you, my point, I'm going to make it clearly today. <laughs> Even if whatever, whoever does evil, anywhere, everywhere, Who's which is we know, you? speak the truth. I'm speaking the truth. There's so many evil going on in Christianity, we know. Hey. We know. There's priests, there's pastors today, raping children, young children in the church. That's the truth. God knows, Jesus knows. Okay? My point is, if somebody did somewhere else, some country, why should this brother get it here? This is his fault. Okay, so let me let me let me answer that. Let me address that point. But if I hear, no, no. Let me finish. If I hear Ali Dawa in front of me, if he said that whatever I'm gonna kill or I'm whatever it is, you would see me speaking to him the same thing I'm speaking to you. My point is, we need to preach love. We need to preach the good news. We need to tell our brother and sister to be safe. But if he condemning them every day with Muhammad, with picture, for me, that's disgusting. God Muhammad bless. died a long time ago. Okay, can I reply now? No, no, wait, I'm not finishing. He died a long time ago, okay? Whatever he does, the ugly picture that Ihatun has in her hand, and repeatedly, every Sunday, she will say to the Muslim, she has not no respect at all. She will say to them, you're you, Muhammad, you're this, you're... Uh, okay. it's, it's all right, uncle, don't worry. Uncle, 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 uncle. uncle. It's Okay. So, sister, sister, can I reply? Can I reply? No, 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 sister. Go on, let, let her finish. But then you let me reply. Because he's going to answer me, okay? My point is, if we follow Jesus, if we follow Jesus Christ, but Jesus, is, you know, he sits with prostitutes, he sat with rapists, he sat with drunkards, Jesus was the friend of sinner. The woman that was caught, caught adultery, they bring her into Jesus feet what did he said he didn't condemn her so if he's if he's our pro, our god he is we follow him he's such a real good model in fact the christian they don't even follow jesus steps many of them sister can i reply okay? what do you but, think about when jesus wait, wait sister so no sister let me reply but no big sister because you're just going on and on and on and you're not actually finishing what you're saying so no one second sister one second sister sister i'm going please allow me to reply sister please allow me to reply 
happened? Sister, please allow me to reply. So I, I want to say, sister, to you, I have heard your counsel and I've heard the reasons for your counsel and I'm going to reject your counsel and this is the reason why I'm going to reject your counsel. This is why I'm going to reject your counsel. I am rejecting your counsel. You keep asking people to listen, but you don't listen yourself, sister. So here's why I reject your counsel. Because the sister herself said, if she heard Ali Dawa say that it was okay to kill Christians who left Islam, she would condemn Ali Dawa to his face. And that is exactly what I am doing. So therefore, I am not doing anything wrong by the sister's own statement. Furthermore, furthermore, sorry, I'm sorry, sister, I've got to shout because, sorry, because the, the Muslims don't have any manners around us. They don't have any manners around us. This is what Ali Dawa said. So, ladies and gentlemen, Let's, let's just so let's just move the camera right. Let's just move the camera right. So, so, so Ali Dawa said to kill those who leave apostasy. That's what he, that's what he said. No, so I'm going to finish my point. One second. If someone right, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, no wants to be in front of the camera. No, 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 he no, can't no, have a decent he conversation. No demonstrates the example of a pathetic okay. prophet okay. called Muhammad hey, by what? demonstrating what pathetic, what pathetic, pathetic manners. Pathetic prophet, right. One second. Pathetic. Your, pro your, prophet your prophet is pathetic. Your prophet is pathetic. Your prophet is pathetic. And you demonstrate that patheticness. That's what you do. Right now. Right now. You demonstrate the pathetic manners of your prophet. It's not him. No. It's on camera. He's just lost his control. We were all calm until he came. He's not here to debate. You've seen him a couple of times. Look, he's, he's still. Be I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, JC, leave it. Leave it. They've got it. They've got it. The police are under control. So here's why I'm going to reject the sister's counsel. Firstly, I want to acknowledge that the sister has come and spoke to me in love, and I respect her motivation. Secondly, secondly. I want to say, I want to say, I respect the sister's gentle temperament, yes. but I reject, I reject completely her counsel, and the reason why I reject it completely is the following reasons. One, our Lord was not behind the door of having a bust up. He went into the temple, he created a cord of whips, and he had a ruckus with the people in the temple. Our Lord is not some meek and mild doormat. Secondly, our Lord was not behind the door of calling out those that he criticized. Yes, yes. He called them vipers. Yes. He called them snakes. Yes. Yes. He called them whitewashed tombs. Yes. He called them dead man's bones. Yes. Our Lord yes. was not behind the door of debate. Yes. Uh -huh. He often debated the Pharisees. Excellent. He often debated the Sadducees. Yes. He often challenged their authority. Yes. Right. God commands us in the Bible that we should stand up against injustice. Yes. That the apostles teach us that we should fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. The, the apostle Paul lists amongst the champions of faith those who put armies to flight, those who conquered kingdoms. It is not an embracement of Christ. No, one second. No, sister. No, I'm just wrapping up. I've heard your counsel. I've rejected your counsel. No, sister. No, no, I haven't finished. I have not finished, sister. I have not finished. I have not finished. I have not finished. Notice, the, notice that the Muslims are desperate for the sister to speak because the Muslim militants need, need useful idiots. They need doormat Christians. They need limp-wristed Christianity because doormat Christians, limp-wristed Christianity is what will facilitate Islamization.
It's what will give currency to Islamic dominance. The sister has good motives, a respect her motives. I love her as my sister, but she is wholly wrong in her diagnosis. She is wholly wrong in her analysis, and she is wholly wrong in her approach to tackling Islam, Islamization, and the teachings of the Quran. And it is no accident that the Muslims are siding with the Christian who attacked Hatun Tash publicly, but then criticized as Christians for criticizing Islam publicly. So she criticizes me publicly, she criticizes Hatun Tash publicly, but she she says we can't criticize Muslims publicly. I think that's telling. No, 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 no. Your turn for a wrap up that's and then we're going. That's one side. Notice, he's silent now. He's silent now. Let her speak, but not me. No, she's a useful tool to you. She's a useful tool for you. That's what it's really all about. A useful idiot is what they're called in politics. Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Right? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer what Bob said about Jesus. That telling uh, your Bibles, your snakes in the Bible, uh, Matthew 23. Jesus didn't speak like that to anyone unbeliever. He spoke to the religious people, which is they act like one, but, but these they are religious don't. People. Well, these are religious me, people. Let no, no, us speak. Yeah. Wait, you weren't saying that when you were interrupting me. What a hypocrite! What a hypocrite! <laughs> Okay, number one. So for me, when Jesus was yeah. talking, yes, he was angry. The Pharisees, they believe God, the Jews, and even that's one of my points. We not criticize Jews at all. The Jews that are calling Jesus, he had demon. The Jews that didn't believe he's the son of God. So literally, why can't we speak the truth about them also, instead of just speaking about Islam? Okay, number two. I believe Jesus, he said something when he sees something, he will tell you straight away. But at the same time, he died for the whole humanity. Jesus loves Muslims. He literally appeared to them in dreams. I have many Muslim friends. I grew up with Muslims back home in my country, and I love many Muslims. Today, I spoke to here many brothers here Muslim. But do you we know the Bible says wait. God is angry with the wicked every day as well? Can I, can I just yes. say? Mm. So my you weren't saying that when you were interrupting me, you hypocrite. Neither were you, you hypocrite. Hypocrites. Because he's going to go his way. Brothers, I love you so much for my heart. You're my brothers, okay? My point, you must understand me. My point is Jesus is love, okay? Jesus came to save, all right? The problem is the way you understand love. That's the problem. I agree. That's the problem. I agree. Don't interrupt yeah. me, please. You just take so one now, part. if I see this brother, if I see him doing evil in front of my eyes, I will condemn him. But the way I will condemn him, I'll say to him, brother, oh, now you condemn this him. is wrong. What are you saying? What you don't is, brother, don't do that. I'll pray for you. Turn away. Repent. But the individual. My point is, we but does that help anything the for the kingdom? Okay. But if we do you bring here, any souls like that? Oh, wait. My point is, my brothers, all of you, for me, all humanity created by God. We need to love one another, okay? But my point. What about is the jihadis? When I say jihadis, <laughs> they're, they're not, they're not, they're not loving us. What about the what about the Muslims that are persecuting Christians, sister? What about the Muslims that are persecuting Christians? You, you thing is, the thing is, the scriptures teach us, the scriptures teach us to do good to all men, but especially those in the house of faith. So if one group is persecuting another group. Are you Muslims are persecuting Christians? You are duty bound to stand against the group that are persecuting the Christians. Yeah, and who's that? Turkish government. And I agree. And I'm standing against both of them. Thank you very much. I condemn both of them. I condemn both of them. But no offense, sister. You're. I, I think that you are a very. Sister, you're, you're living by a double standard. Sister, you're living by a double standard. No, sister, you are living by a double standard because you are saying that we should not. We we should not, we should not be criticizing Muslims, but here you are criticizing Hatun Tash, and here you are criticizing me. So you're living by a double standard. You're living by a double standard. That's the hypocrisy. No, she's not being a hypocrite. She's not pretending. No, it's not hypocrisy. It's a double standard. She, she isn't. She isn't pretending.
She believes this, but it is a double standard. She is, but it's a double standard, sister. It's a double standard. No, no, sister, sister. You are condemning him. You should condemn them also. But you defended Ali Dawa, who called for the killing of Christians. You, you defended Ali Dawa, who is calling for the killing of Christians. No, he was applauding you in front of you. No, Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, you was applauding Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa applauded you in public. Sister, Ali Dawa applauded you in public. No, it's not fine because what you did is you defended someone who called for the killing of Christians. Do you want to do you want to condemn someone who calls for the killing of Christians? Right, condemn Ali Dawa. Do it now on camera. Say Ali Dawa is wrong. Okay, you need to do your search. You do need to do your research. You're, you're defending you're defending people and you don't even know what you're talking about. I was bringing him to you. You're defending. He will run away. He will run away. Ali Dawa will run away. Ali Dawa will run away. Sister, sister, brother, sorry, brother. I condemn Turkey. I condemn Saudi Arabia. Yeah, totally. I think I think we should boycott Turkey. I think that we should boycott Saudi Arabia. I actually think that we should overthrow both regimes. Why do you overthrow the Syrian and the Iraqi regime? Exactly. Exactly. If we can overthrow the Syrian and the Iraqi regime, why can't we overthrow Saudi Arabia? Why can't we overthrow Turkey? Well, we're on the same side politically. Sister, can we, do, can we just call... No, no, sister. No, no, sister, because I want to talk about something else now. What you know, you're speaking without knowledge. You are speaking without knowledge. You do not know what Ali Dawa stands for. You defended Ali Dawa. You attacked Atuntash. And Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa calls for the death of apostates. No, what you're doing is a failure in love because you have failed to love your brother and sisters in Christ. You fail to love the persecuted church. You have failed to love the persecuted church. We'll talk to you in a second. I want to talk to you now. I want to talk to you now. I want to talk to you now. To you now. No, this sister needs to go away and do her research. She doesn't know what she's talking about. No, sister, 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 you do not know what you're talking about. You have justified the persecution of Christians in Islamic teaching and by Islamic militants. Who would put your hand up if you heard Ali Dawa state that apostates should be killed? There you go, witnesses. That's the man that you defended. Who has heard Ali Dawa say that killing apostates is what Islam teaches? There you go, witnesses. You are wrong, sister. You are wrong, sister. And you have failed in love. You have failed, sister. You have failed. No, you have failed to love your brothers and sisters. These are your brothers and sisters, and you have failed to love them. And what does the Bible teach? It says, do good to all men, especially those in the house of faith. Especially those in the house of faith. You have failed to love your brothers and sisters. When you attacked Hatun Tash publicly, Yes, there you go. When you attacked Hatun Tash publicly, even though you said that we shouldn't be criticizing Islam in public. No, sister, you need to go away and research. You need to go away and go and research. Sister, you defended someone who called for the murder of your brothers and sisters. You should reflect upon that. You should reflect, so you shouldn't reflect upon that. Condemn Ali Dawa on camera. Do it now. I didn't hear him. What he there said. you go. Oh. You should all come down, Ali Dawa. Because he, he, all of these people have heard him say it. All of these people have heard him say it. Sister, are all these people lying? Are you accusing all these people of lying? Ali Dawa is represent all of them. Are they lying? We'll talk. I want to talk to you. Please stay. I really want to talk to you. I just want to finish with this sister because she won't stop. Are all of these people lying to you? Right. If then, if you're not saying that they are lying, are they telling the truth? Are you saying you can't accept the evidence of witnesses? I did, but if I heard him. Are you saying that you can't accept the evidence of witnesses? Because if you are, why are you a Christian? Because we accept the evidence of witnesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been seeing 
You have witnesses that have heard Ali Dawa call for the murdering of Christians who have left Islam. Do you condemn it? Fuck ISIS. Fuck ISIS. Totally. Agree. Fuck ISIS. Fuck ISIS. Fuck Turkish government. Fuck Saudi government. We've, we've let her talk. We've, that's, not your, that's not my problem. Sister, I would like this conversation to stop because I want to talk to this bro. I want to, sister, I want, no, I want to, this, I want to talk to this bro. Sister, I heard your point and rejected it. Your advice is bad advice. It's based on a lack of information and it represents a kind of Christianity that is only useful to the enemies of the church. Respect her, she's your mother. No, I do respect her, which is why I call her my sister. But, but the thing is, just because she wants to talk to me doesn't mean we have let her speak. And notice, notice, the only ones that are desperate to let are the Muslims. Guys, there is social distancing rules. You are not following them. Please spread out. Right back out. Please spread out. He's just doing his job. Please spread out. Please spread out. Otherwise, this will be stopped. It will be closed down again. Please spread out. Spread out. Please spread out. We are, we are. Sister, sister, sister. No, no. Sister, you need to go away and look at the words of Ali Dawa. You, sister, sister. Sister, let, let, let her speak, let her speak. Let sister, let her speak. Let her speak. sister, we have heard her speak. We've heard her speak. We've heard her speak. The sister needs to go away and see who she sided with. Last week, when she sided with a man who called for the, the, the execution of Christians. That's who this sister sided with. That's who this sister sided with. So say you're a... No, sister. No, I want to talk to this bro. Come forward, bro. I want to talk to you. Okay. Sister, the conversation. No, no, no. Sister, no, we're done. Done. JC, let's go. Let's go.